Good morning, everyone. Bienvenidos todos, brothers, sisters, hermanos y hermanas, sharing scripture this morning. Ever since I started studying, not just reading, studying the Word of God back in 2008, when I came across the scripture, uh, Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 2, it states, Yahweh, the God of Israel, gave Jeremiah his command, write everything down, write everything down, I have told you in a book. When I read that scripture, whenever Abba Father God speaks through his word, through his word, brothers and sisters, I write everything down. Once I finish writing down what he has shared through his word, I go back and I read it, and it's different verses, not just a chapter. Uh, it's different verses placed together. There's even other scriptures that states, uh, grab a little here, a line here, precept here, and put it all together. And it it makes more sense. It helps us understand what he's trying to tell us. It's his it's his food for us, for our soul, our spirit. So I share this morning as scripture speaks, it's the voice of my God, the God I serve, the God of Israel, as scripture states. Uh, Jeremiah 30, verse 2, it states it there, the God of Israel. So this morning... I share a part of Psalms 36 and Psalms 37. So I give you all glory, Lord, Father, God, in the name of your Son, Jesus. Let your word speak, for it is your voice, and it never comes back void. All glory in the name of your Son, Jesus. I share scripture, brothers and sisters, and I start Psalms 36, verse 7, uh, verse 5, forgive me. That'll be 5 through 10. Heed the word, brothers and sisters. Abba Father speaks through his word. It's active today. He's the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow. That's, that's the beauty of Abba Father God. And when I read the scripture, the spirit, the, the soul the attributes, the character of our God comes to life. We draw closer to him. So I share. Your mercy, O oh Lord, is in the heavens. Your faithfulness reaches to the clouds. Your righteousness is like the great mountains. Your judgments are a great deep. O oh Lord, you preserve man and beast. Your righteousness is like a great mountain. It, it's breathtaking. If anyone has ever stood and looked at a mountain, it's breathtaking. That's Abba Father's righteousness. When we look at a mountain and we smile at awe, that's how we should feel with the righteousness of our Abba Father God. For he is a merciful God. How precious is your loving kindness, O oh God. Therefore, the children of men put their trust under the shadow of your wings. We trust in the Lord. We, we share the word. How could a non-believer ever know the beauty of our God if we do not share? Again, verse 7 was, How precious is your loving kindness, O God! Therefore the children of men put their trust under the shadow of your wing. They are abundantly satisfied with fullness of your house. And you give them drink from the river, your pleasures. Again, they are abundantly satisfied with the fullness of your house 
and you give them drink from the river of your pleasures. It's the word. For with you is the fountain of light. In your light we see light. Oh, continue your loving kindness to those who know you and your righteousness to the upright in heart. Again, no one will know Abba, Father God, if we don't share the word. He's upright. And if there's one thing, he's a merciful God. He's a loving, loving God. His loving kindness is, is hard to explain. But it's there. It's there for all of us. So now to continue, this is Psalms 37. Trust in the Lord and do good. Dwell in the land and feed on the faithfulness. Delight yourself also in the Lord and he shall give you the desires of your heart. The righteousness in our heart, Abba Father will Bring it to pass, brothers and sisters, no matter where we're at. Commit your way to the Lord. Trust also in him and he shall bring it to pass. There it is. Delight yourself also in the Lord and he shall give you the desires of your heart. Commit your way to the Lord. Trust also in him and he shall bring it to pass. He shall bring forth your righteousness. There's the key. The righteousness of our heart. As the light and your just as the noonday. Rest in the Lord and wait patiently. He will bring it to pass, brothers and sisters, for him. Do not fret because of him who prospers in his way. Because of the man who who brings wicked schemes to pass. Cease from anger and forsake wrath. Do not get angry. I, I have a video where I shared scripture where it says, be angry, but don't sin. Give it up to Abba, Father God. Again, cease from anger and forsake the wrath Do not fret. It only causes harm. For evil doers shall be cut off. But those who wait on the Lord, they shall inherit the earth. Brothers and sisters, when we place verses from here and verses from there, God speaks. He speaks if you write them down as scripture says. Again, that's Jeremiah 30 verse 2. Everything he says, it's food. As it says, as it states, it's food for our soul. Abba Father is an amazing, amazing Father in heaven. We just need to breathe. Breathe and be still and wait on him, for he will, he will bring to pass the righteousness of our heart, the needs, the provision, if we only heed his word, brothers and sisters. And again, all glory to you, Lord, Father, God, in the name of your son, Jesus. Blessings.